So in this video, we're going to complete the photon rate equation for laser cavities. So in the last video, we said that the, diff the derivative of the total number of photons inside the cavity, uh, if we ignore the gain, was just equal to the number of photons, or the negative of the number of photons, divided by this thing we call the photon lifetime, which we can kind of interpret as the leak rate. Uh, or the, the number of photons that are able to leak out of our cavity per unit time. And this uh, lifetime was just equal to 2L, the length of the cavity, divided by the group velocity times 1 minus R1, R2. And R1, R2 are just the reflectivities of the mirrors. But now we're interested in adding the gain, G, into this equation. So how do we incorporate that? So how do we incorporate our, our gain, or equivalently our stimulated emission term? Well, let's, let's draw it out. So let's draw out our cavity. Uh, we know, and for now we're gonna be ignoring the mirrors on the side. So we know we've got a certain number of photons. I don't know, maybe we've got five, maybe we've got 10. In reality, we've got bajillions. Uh, we've got a certain number of photons NP. And our gain G uh, was defined originally in terms of the uh, intensity. So the change in intensity as you go deeper into the semiconductor or as you go through the semiconductor is just equal to plus G times the intensity. Or you can rearrange that in terms of the number of photons. Uh, DX is just equal to G times the number of photons. And remember that the gain is just the negative of the absorption. It's just easier to work with gain now because we've got a medium that has a certain gain. And so now from this differential equation, we know if we go a little tiny step delta x, we know that we'll increase our number of photons. So we'll increase by a number delta n, uh, which is just equal to g times our original number of photons times the little tiny amount of space that we went. But we have uh, this in terms of space. We would really like it in terms of time. So we'd really like delta n over delta t. And so how long does it take us to traverse this delta x? So what is, the, uh, what is this delta x in terms of the time that it takes uh, to go from this point to this point? Well, uh, we, we know that is just related by, again, the group velocity. So delta x is just equal to the group velocity times delta t. Or rearranging, plugging this in here and rearranging the equation, we get delta n over delta t is just NP, or this would be delta NP, uh, NP times G times our group velocity. And if you take the limit as delta T approaches zero, you get it in terms of the derivative. So NP times G times VG, because there's no delta T dependence on the right-hand side. So as we take the limit, nothing happens. As we take the limit on the right-hand side, we get the derivative. Uh, you could have also got this by just using the chain rule uh, dnp dt, you could just say that this is just dnp dx uh, dx dt, and this term is just equal to the velocity, the group velocity. And so now we have our stimulated emission term. So we can put that back into our original differential equation, which we just wrote up here. Uh, so dnp dt. So now we have two different sources. So the first is that we've got leakage of photons outside the cavity. So when our photons hit the mirrors on the side, some of them will escape. Uh, but we've also got gain, which is contributing additional photons. So plus NP times our gain times the group velocity. And so this term corresponds to stimulated emission. Uh, this corresponds to mirror loss. Uh, and this is also interesting because these are the photons that escape that we can actually use to do things outside of our laser. Uh, but there's actually another term. So remember how we were talking about uh, one of the initial videos on these fabry perot cavities? Uh, that sometimes, so we know we've got spontaneous emission going on, and sometimes a photon is emitted, uh, a spontaneously emitted, a phot uh, emitted photon, uh, which happens to have just the right angle, so just the right direction, uh, and also just the right frequency or wavelength, so that it contributes to our stimulated emission photon uh, modes. 
So most of our spontaneous emission is going to be going every which way. It's going to be going that way. It's going to be going that way. It's not coherently adding to our mode. But sometimes we have just the right wavelength and just the right direction uh, so that our spontaneously emitted photon acts like a stimulated emission uh, photon. And the fraction of the time that this happens, we just call beta. So this, this beta spontaneous uh, might be like on the order of 10 to the minus four. And so beta spontaneous times our spontaneous uh, emission rate, this is something that we have to add to our total stimulated emission. So this contributes to the number of photons within the cavity NP. And this is specifically the number of photons in our laser mode that we're interested in. So we just need to add this term down here. Uh, so beta spontaneous times R spontaneous. But now this is in per unit volume, uh, and this is the total number of photons. So we have to multiply this by our active region cap, uh, volume, or just the volume of this semiconductor, uh, the volume that's able to generate photons. So R spontaneous is in per unit volume, and we need to multiply by the total volume to get the uh, total number of photons generated per unit time. And so now we've basically got three different terms in our differential equation. So this is due to spontaneous emission. This center term is due to stimulated emission. And this leftmost term is just the photons that manage to escape. And this is our final photon rate equation in terms of the total number of photons within the cavity. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel below. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, also please feel free to post those and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.